The Bozeman Bucks have the number one seed locked up for the state tournament, and I asked them what their chances are to repeat the state title. Well, last year was, was awesome. Uh, many of our guys got to go through that of actually winning that tournament. Um, and some of our guys were on our team the year before when we went two and out. So we've seen both sides of it and you got to get hot at the right time. Bozeman has been hot all year, finishing with a 21 and three conference record. However, none of that matters now. We don't talk a lot about results. We didn't talk a lot about a conference championship result. We just talk about what it takes to, to be successful every day and on every pitch. The Bucks have been led offensively by Sage McMinn, who had a batting average of 500 with 13 homers. And on the mound, he had an impressive 2.91 ERA. We're used to winning and kind of sounds cocky, but I mean, you got to win to win it. So I think we'll be OK. The players aren't worried about other teams. They're focused on the task at hand. I'm more worried about us. More worried if we don't show up to the field, we're going to beat ourselves. So as long as we show up to the park every day, I think we have a decent chance of beating anyone that we play. A lot of the team's success is because of Keller Murphy, who came back to play with the Bucks after his college season was canceled and he met the age limit to return. Murphy batted over 400 in the state tournament last year. He's our leader for sure and our captain, and uh, I look up to him as a player for sure, even though I'm bigger than him. I mean, I try to do my best on and off the field for them to look up to, and she's a great group of kids, the guys, all of them like really good friends, and these friendships will last forever. The Bucks have a bye in the first round of the state tournament, and on Thursday night at 7 p.m., we'll be taking on the winner of the game between the Billings Royals and the Billings Scarlets. In Bozeman, John Miller, MTN Sports.